temperatures are very close to 100. I think it will be that way for the 5 o'clock and 6 o'clock hour, falling through the 90s to about 94 degrees by 9 and dropping a little bit more as we head toward tomorrow morning. Here's your first alert. Hour by hour forecast near 80 degrees by 6, 88 by 10, 93 keeping pace. That's why that heat warning still in effect. We go for 96 degrees on your 2 o'clock reading. And by 4 o'clock, 97, but the heat index about 105. That's why we also have those yellow triangles, meaning it's going to impact your plans. A lot of folks trying to gear up for the 4th of July weekend, or the next week, that is, since 4th of July is on Wednesday. This is the last weekend to get things done. 95 would be the temperature by 6 o'clock. There is a chance of some thunderstorms rolling through, as mentioned, so we do have this chance of maybe cooling down a little bit. We're looking for mostly cloudy skies to develop by the second half of your Saturday. Here's a look at First Alert Future Scan. Most of the day dry, but we'll focus northwest Missouri, northeast Kansas. And whenever you see this bow, that usually means winds are pushing out pretty strong. So the number one thing we have to worry about with these will be gusty winds up to 50 miles per hour with some of them. Rainfall, torrential blinding, you may have to pull over to the side of the road. This is by 10 o'clock. Midnight, it goes farther to the east and starts to die down a little bit, but still a pop-up can't be ruled out on early Sunday morning, but by Sunday afternoon, things should improve. Here's a look at the exclusive First Alert 9-day forecast. Keeping it warm for one more day, or should I say hot. Sunday will be the day of transition with a chance of showers and thunderstorms developing. 72 to 87 degrees on Sunday. Monday, 90. Tuesday, 95. 4th of July right now looking like 96 degrees, but looks like it'll be dry once again as another dome of very hot air moves overhead and stays put. Morning temperatures in the 70s and afternoon highs only in the 90s. Only, at least we're not 100 yet, but still going to feel like it every bit.